Do you guys want cheap stubs on the market? Make sure you guys go to AMLB.com today's sponsor. And make sure you guys use code MAIT for 5% off your purchase. Alright boys, today we have a double upload today and we're going to be talking about Season 2 and we're going to be talking about these showdowns. Now I know the showdowns are a little bit annoying, but we're going to be talking about how to do it as fast as possible. Now the big thing that you guys are going to want to do is the draft is very important. I'm going to go over the draft very briefly, but we're going to be talking about the fastest method to finish showdown as fast as possible. You're going to start a draft and obviously you're going to go through all of this. The big thing here is just drafting pop towards either side. Now you're probably gonna face righties and lefties as showdown bosses now I know a lot of people will be like load up on righties But you don't want to necessarily completely load up on righties because if you're facing a lefty in your final showdown You're kind of screwed not even gonna lie So I like to pick guys that are really cool and are good for both sides So here I'm just gonna pick Lou Gehrig because I know that I love his swing I know that he's heavy righty, but I like the guy. So we're gonna go here Joe Torre another guy That's gonna be really good um, as far as pitchers go, make sure you guys always go for per nines. Per nines are 100% better than anything else because you're facing a computer, not a real hitter. So whoever has the best per nines is going to be the guy that you pitch. Out of this guy, I think I'm going to pick up Mark Pryor. Uh, he has pretty good per nines. Again, we're looking at big pop. Chris Davis has 122 pop. Lorenzo Kane also looks cool just because of his swing. But Chris Davis is definitely the go-to right here. I'm going to pick up my boy Luke Voigt. I need someone who rails lefties. And we're just going to kind of keep on going. Again, per nine, so probably Craig here. Uh, Blackman's just got a glitchy swing, so I always pick him. Uh, Stasi, I like Stasi, honestly. We'll go we'll go speed and center, so we'll go Cedric. Um, as far as perks go, you want to go either exit velocity or you want to go um, a little bit other route, which would be go with two strikes. I usually remember that, but there's no two strikes one here, so I'm going to go exit velocity boost while losing. We're going to be losing, so that means we're always going to have an exit below boost. These kind of suck. Out of them, I'm going to choose rattle. I mean, maybe I'll get bailed, but uh, those aren't really good ones. Um, down but not out is going to be the one that I pick here because I do actually take the two strikes a lot. So here we go. So I know that a lot of you guys who are better players end up cruising through showdown, and I'm going to kind of show what I'm going to be doing to finish showdown as fast as possible. Now, if you guys struggle with this method, um, I'm going to be honest, this is a little bit of a harder method. Now, I'm going to go over the easier way and the harder way. The easier way that I recommend and the way that I'm doing it, again, I've been playing showdown for a long time. So if you're one of those new Xbox players who's playing on Xbox, one big thing that I would say is do not do this off start. Get used to it. Do, do the first method that I say first and then the second one after that so the first thing that you guys are going to do is i always i'm going to play these three missions as the hard method and i'm going to get six showdown runs and then i'm going to skip to the final boss but if you were one of those new players like i said one thing that i would recommend doing unless you get a really good draft and you're really proud of your team as you can see right now my draft was very okay i have a lot of guys that i need to play just need to be better and we're gonna put Chris Davis in the left make sure you know kind of just uh, don't let don't necessarily listen to your guys sometimes the computer will be a little bit baked and whenever you're facing a showdown boss big thing that you're gonna want to do here is you are going to want to put in your best hitters no matter what so Voight would go in for my worst hitter here which I would say is probably Adamus probably Adamus so he'll go in for Adamus here because I am going to be playing the showdown bosses obviously I would go after these three moments first I'm not gonna play the showdown uh, in the video I'm just gonna give you guys a little tutorial but put in your best lineup play these three moments so it's 6 to 12 and try to score seven runs with 15 outs remaining I think it's genuinely pretty easy but if you are a guy who kind of struggles with showdown I completely understand I was there at some point so one thing that I would do for you guys would I would be finish the first showdown and then do one more moment and you can skip moments if you don't like this moment if it's like a three inning moment or a win this game moment skip that and go to a strikeout moment or something like that and then go to here you're going to be getting better rewards anyways because you're going to be getting a team affinity 2 hitter um, but that's just kind of the route that I'm taking for showdown and this is going to be how you finish showdown the fastest here the fastest method to finish all of this if you made it to the end of the video I want you guys to hit that like it's so important to add it would help me out an absolute ton. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one and might be out.